What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Now then, today I'm going to be installing what I believe to be one of the best mods that you can do to your BMW. Now then, if you own a BMW, you will know that from factory they come with a wheel bolt setup. Now there are other manufacturers out there that also use this method as well, but in my opinion, it's not as good as having a stud and a lug nut setup. Wheel bolts really make your life harder when it comes to removing and reinstalling your wheels. And in my opinion, they're not actually as safe as using studs and nuts either. I mean, how many times have you sat on the floor trying to balance the wheel with your legs and then trying to line up the holes on the wheel with the holes in the hub while also trying to screw a bolt in at the same time. And now if you had a stud and a nut set up, you wouldn't have this problem because the wheel is supported by the studs. So you could just put the wheel onto the studs. All you have to do is line up the holes on the wheel with the studs and the wheel isn't gonna go anywhere. You can just tighten it up in your own leisure. And so if you haven't already guessed, today I will be doing a wheel stud conversion. Now I've actually been in contact with a company called Darkside Development. So for those of you that do not know, they are a diesel based tuning company here in the UK. And they are actually the same guys that sent me out the EGR delete kit that I've also installed on my car. I don't know how many of you guys have seen that video, but I know that their products are at the highest of quality. And this time they've actually sent me out their wheel stud conversion kit, which basically comprises of 20 studs, 20 nuts, and some high strength Loctite, which obviously needs to go on the studs to prevent them from coming loose out of the hub. And of course, if you do want to get this kit yourself, I will leave the link in the description below. And I'm also gonna leave a link to the Dark Side Developments YouTube channel as well. I've been watching a whole bunch of their videos lately and they honestly have some crazy stuff going on over there. And I'm actually gonna try and get up to Dark Side Developments as well sometime this year. We have some pretty big things planned, so stay tuned for that. Without further ado, let's get outside and let's install this Wilson conversion kit. Okay then, so the car is up in the air. All four wheels are off the ground. We just need to take the wheels off now. Okay then, so with the wheels off then, I'm actually gonna start on the rear. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is just attempt to clean out the threads a little bit in the hub. Just got some brake cleaner. I'm just gonna spray that in each of the holes just to try and remove any debris that's gonna stop the studs from going in. And then what I'm gonna do is just test one of the studs just to confirm it is the correct size thread which it is now then what we need to do is apply some thread locker to the studs put all the studs in and then torque them down okay then so we have our thread locker and we have our stud I'm just going to put a drop just a drop on the end the part that's going into the hub you don't need to put loads of this stuff on so just a drop, there we go, that's plenty. And then thread it into the hub. And I'm gonna repeat this process for the other four. Okay, just a drop. Now 
Now you have to be fairly quick when doing this because once you have screwed the studs in, the thread locker will start to go off, but I'm sure you have a few minutes to do all of them and then torque them up. Okay then, so with all five studs in place, it's now time to torque them up. Now, if I just go to torque these up, the hub, you may find that the hub may be spinning, but because this is on the rear, I've got the handbrake on, the hub should stay in place. Obviously, if you don't have a fully working handbrake, then you can actually just get someone to step on the brake pedal, but I'm just gonna torque these down now. Yeah, that's one. That's two. Should probably explain as well, to actually tighten these up, there is a five millimeter Allen head in the end of the studs. So you just use a five millimeter Allen socket and then that's how you, uh, Tighten them down in the hub. Yeah, just double check them out. That is all of them fully torqued down to 32 newton meters. And now I'm just going to repeat the same process on the front. Obviously, the front will be a bit different because the hubs can spin, but I'll show you how you can stop them if you don't have someone to step on the brakes, like in my case. But first thing is first, I'm just going to spray a bit of brake cleaner into the threads. Next thing to do then is of course apply the thread locker to the studs. Okay then, so it's now time to torque these studs down, but what you might find is when you attempt to torque them down, the hub will just spin. So what you can do is, well, because these are vented discs, you can actually just put a long screwdriver into one of the vents just jam that against the floor or against the underbody of the car and then it will stop the hub from spinning and then you can torque the studs down I'm just going to double check them. Perfect, all five now torqued down. And I've actually went ahead and repeated the process on the other side. So that is all four sets of studs in. And now all that's left to do is put the wheels back on. Oh, that was so much easier. And the wheel isn't gonna fall off now as well. I'm gonna worry about it falling off. I can just put the nuts on in my own time. No worry about it falling off. Good thing about these nuts as well, because they are obviously tapered, you can't cross thread them, which is obviously another risk with wheel bolts. You can cross thread wheel bolts quite easily.
Just going to get the impact wrench. satisfying and now that all of the wheels are back on it's time to get this thing back on the ground and now that the car is on the ground just going to torque all of the wheel nuts down to 115 newton meters They look so much better than regular wheel bolts. And with all of the wheel nuts torqued up, that is job done. Okay then, so that is the wheel stud conversion complete. All that's left to do now is take it for a test drive and make sure the wheels don't fall off. Now I'm not too sure how well you could see on camera but I just think these wheel nuts and studs look so much better than the regular boring wheel bolts. They make the car look so much more aggressive and because they're actually longer, because these studs are longer than the threads on a regular wheel bolt, it means I can actually add spacers now as well. Now I'm pretty sure the total length of these studs are 75 millimeters and I think I can add up to 12 millimeter spacers. So I'll probably have like 12 millimeter spacers on the rear. I'm not too sure what I'll do with the fronts because they're kind of in a good place as they are. You know, the fitment of the wheels are kind of in a good place as they are. So I'm maybe going to think of getting some 12 millimeter spacers for the rear. But Darkside also do a, an even longer stud as well. I'm pretty sure they do like a 90 millimeter stud. So. You know, you could get up to a, what's that, 27 millimeter spacer if you have that even longer one. So it's always good to, you know, have the option to add spacers if you want. But I mean, even if you don't want spacers, just having the studs over, you know, uh, regular wheel bolts is, you know, so much better. It's so much more convenient. Like I said, you can just sit down, put the wheel on and then just tighten up the nuts with ease in your own time and you haven't got to worry about the wheel falling off the hub and then, you know, crushing your feet or whatever. Okay then, so I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank Darkside for sending this kit out to me. Of course, if you do want to get your own, link is in the description below. Please give this video a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you have not already done so, and I will see you guys in that next video. Peace.